How we doing guys? Back with another beer review. Checking out some Smith & Lentz today. First beer review from Smith & Lentz on the channel. Checking out one of their IPAs. This one, I think it's kind of cool that um, about Smith & Lentz, not a whole, whole lot of breweries do this, but they put the beer name on the bottom of the can. This one is called Big Adventure, canned August 8th. So we are week and a half old. Um, don't have the hops on here, but I looked it up. I think it's Galaxy Citra Simcoe. Um, also no ABV. Really wish they put the ABV on the cans, but anyways, let's just check it out. As I was expecting, it is a hazy. This glass is huge. Oh my gosh. You could probably fit a like whole bomber bottle in here. Yeah, super dark, orangey. Um, not like a red, but I don't know, just like a dark orange tangerine color to it. Not not quite that like oxidized color, um, but you know what it reminds me of? Kind of like a like a equilibrium beer. At least the ones I've had um, kind of have a similar color to it. Nice two fingers of pretty creamy off white head. Head is sticking around. Looks nice. You can smell it from here. Let's get a nose on it. Ooh, super ripe fruit. Like juicy stone fruit, peaches. Whole lot of orange in there too, for sure. That's one thing I love about Simcoe and, uh, and Hazy's. I get this just amazing um, just juicy fruit, but like, like, you know, we say juicy fruit all the time with hazies, but like, it, I don't know, it's just got this very specific, um, kind of flavor from Simcoe and hazies. It's almost like a big grapefruit. I, I get, um, a lot of grapefruit quite a bit from Simcoe. Yeah, it's a like grapefruit, orange. Tons of citrus. It smells awesome. Let's dive in. Cheers. Solid. Really solid. little bit of that dankness comes through which I was really hoping for um, sometimes you get it with some and hazy sometimes you don't not really like a caddy thing though that you get in the west coast um, style sometimes with Simcoe um, really getting a lot of citra more citra and Simcoe than Galaxy um, I don't know how much of each hop is in this beer but um, that's really what's kicking out for me. I don't want to say it's like a, so a soft mouthfeel. It, it's pretty um, like mouth coating, pretty pillowy, but. It's also got a nice amount of bitterness, which I really enjoy. Um, I don't know, maybe it, because it's, you know, still pretty young, a uh, week and a half in the can. I don't know. Uh, personally, I think it's got to be, you know, old school hops in there. Um, it's got that new school haze flavor and mouthfeel, but with a little bit of old school bitterness, which is really cool.
it's not like super filling either for being a hazy you get a like decent amount of like prickly carbonation um, for a hazy really different um, not really what I was expecting uh, from a from a hazy tonight but I uh, really enjoyed it probably something I uh, yeah I wish I could find more hazies like this because it's it's uh it's different than what everybody else is doing right now but um yeah that's all i got not too much else to say about it really solid beer from smith and lentz love the labels by the way really cool really cool stuff kind of got this like 70s psychedelic kind of feel to it but uh yeah that's all i got Hopefully, I will review some more Smith & Lens soon. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Cheers.